G'day viewers, Dodgy here. Guess what? <laughs> Road trip again. This time um, we're going down to where are we going? Um, so we just went through uh, dwelling up. We're going down to past. Uh, I forgot where we're going. <laughs> yeah, Somewhere. we're going down. We're going to see Nigel. We're going to see Nigel. Um, way we're going the other side of Wagen, so. We've got to get uh, car parts for my van. Uh, we were going to get the whole car, but he decided to keep the car itself, so we're just going to get all the parts that we need. So, I'm in the Hyundai, which is why we got the stereo fixed the other day. Well, yesterday. So uh, we have a stereo. Thanks, mother. I stole yours. And um, we got the... Uh, we want recording it. Is it recording it? Yep. So, we, I've got the box trailer on. We've got our sleeping bags and whatnot in the back there. Sleeping bags, swags. So, 250 k's. I think we're going. You go pick up some parts in a Hyundai, which is really low to the ground and a bit bumpy. Yeah, you can see it. Um, can't hold the camera that straight. Um, towing a friggin' box trailer. Yeah. So we're going to go pick up some parts. Not the bush. <laughs> Sorry about the vibrations. <laughs> My cameraman's loose. <laughs> and yeah. Uh, Unlike him drinking normally, it's my turn. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're going for a bit of a, a cruise. Uh, also for Nigel's 50th birthday party. So we'll go do that, pick up the parts, um, strap it all down and then head back. So Ooh, it means we might be able to see some of Nigel's uh, automotive drawings. Yes, so 500k round trip in a Hyundai. Sits on its ass, come on a trailer. Awesome. Well, we made it to Dumble Young um, in one piece, which is interesting because I didn't. Yeah, I thought it'd be a bit harsher seeing the car so stiff, but it did it. Anyway, the reason we were here was to get that originally to take the whole thing, but now Nigel wants. Uh, he's got an idea to cut the front off and turn the rest into a camper trailer, which yeah, that'll do. So, because I'm not taking all of that, which is why I've only got the box trailer beyond the poor little... Look how low that is. That was a bit stiff, but it wasn't too bad. So, we're not going to take the whole vehicle now. So, we're going to just get the panels. And the panels will fit. Should do. Should fit. <coughs> so, what we've got... It's the XR6 front, um, bottom lip, some doors, panels, and maybe the rear doors over there. I think he's going to keep a set that he needs. But doors and guards, I think there's some guards still in there. And that. So uh, maybe those twin thermos. I'm not too sure actually what I've got to take, but yeah. So I figure... That will fit into the car quite easily. That's tonight's firewood, some old Mallee roots. So, panels in the front, that's for my van, so that should work nicely. So we'll throw it in the um, trailer, and um, we should be right. <coughs> so, that's what. Uh, that's why. That's why we've come down. Plus, also, it's Nigel's fiftieth, so we're here for that as well. So, it took us a couple, oh, two and a half hours or so to get down here. Um, you can see the weather is. Yeah, it's not going to rain, but it's not. It could rain. I don't know. It's yeah. So it was a good trip. Lots of bikes out on the road. Um, we went down through past the Brook uh, Boddington Mine and then turned off down Quindanning pub way that's a, if you own a motorbike that's a really good um twisty path down past the queen actually there was a few bikes sitting outside the queen downing pub to uh have a rest and a a drink and meal or whatever else so if you're on a bike that's the way to go so this is our little trip so we don't need another van although rust wise it's got a bit but nothing that bad but as i say it's a window it's not worth anything so he's just going to cut it up and turn it into a, a camper type trailer, maybe. I might have to come down and give him a hand. And uh, we'll do that. 
but I'm quite surprised the old girl half a tank from Perth to here it's about 250 kilometers so that was quite good and nothing fell out this is Jono's I don't know what it is his Betty blanket but his dogs and it stinks like shit so but everything kind of fit and I'm ready for uh, drink it responsibly blah 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 um, it's party time so I'm gonna go enjoy myself in the party so with that, with that said, um, I'll, we'll, I'll, next one, I'll, you'll see it, you know, let everything load up before we head out again, and hopefully, oh, and I'll show you a yard down the road, uh, mate Nick, uh, a guy, mate, yeah, Nick owns, he's got some vehicles that I want to show you, so we'll stop and have a look at that as well, and um, yeah, we'll do that. Anyway, that'll do me, so you'll see in a bit. Alrighty. Oh good, it's bright. The next day, feeling a bit sad for myself. Um, but we've got our um, parts. So not too bad. We've got doors, we've got XR6, um, front end and some other just bits and pieces. So we're done. Anyway, good old uh, what I thought I'd just um, do something that probably people wouldn't know. That um, about Dumble Young. Um, in uh, Campbell, um, Donald Campbell um, raced his uh, Bluebird um, water speed record holding machine, the uh, Bluebird K7, I think he called it. Um, yeah, he um, he actually set a, land, a world water speed record here in Double Young. Um, apparently he's going to do it over east at Lake Eyre or something and the something it would, couldn't go through, the water was too low or something like that so he ended up coming to South, uh, Western Australia to Lake um, Double Young and if you google image Lake Double Young you'll see why. Uh, he actually set the world's record here in 1964. Um, now luckily it's already printed here because I actually memorised it but he actually did uh, on the 31st of um, 31st of December 1964, he set uh, the, uh, the, land, uh, the land water speed record of 276.33 miles an hour, which is 444.71 or 0.66, depending on what you look at, uh, kilometres. So 444 and a bit kilometres an hour, he set the, the record. He had, later broke it. Um, and then he broke it or tried to break it again over in England and that's when the boat flipped and he died uh, but he actually came to Perth in the middle of the southwest here to Lake Double Young and actually set the world record um, and as it says there set it both so that's the record there so he did land as well in Lake Eyre then did Lake uh, Double Young and there you go 276.33 uh, and of course, Ken Warby has it now. So, and uh, last night we were down at the um, the pub, which you kind of see just over there in the background. Okay, well, uh, awesome, awesome little pub, by the way, if you're ever out this way. Um, that's it, just over there. So, uh, it's on the on the other side of the train tracks. Awesome little pub. We went there last night and uh, had a few drinks and there's band playing and everything. So, awesome night. Uh, most people just run through here. So, if you need to stay somewhere, this is pretty good. But what they've got here is a replica of the actual Bluebird. Oh, and just over the road there, at the community resource, they've got a bust of his head in the thing, which is a strange thing. Uh, so here we have a replica of K7. So this is in the main main street town. You can't miss it really. So here they've actually got a replica of it here in town of his, uh, and so that put Dumble Young basically on the map. So there's the the course so we're just past it of course you've got to go back out of town to do it um, 
13 k's long, six and a half wide, 52. Um, yeah, so that's his speed course, went straight down the guts of it. So, oh, and there's a, a memorial, um, Pussycat Hill, which is um, just there. The main road's just there, and there's actually a turn off. You come down to Pussycat Hill Lookout, and that looks south. Um, so you can go down and have a look at that on your way in to Dumble Young from Wagen. Um, but yeah, they've actually got. I thought it was just a little interesting piece of uh, trivia in that you know, the little blue bird. Because um, in at the pub, there's a heap of photos like um, A2 size photos, like oh, probably about that size, uh, maybe a bit bigger, all inside the pub. Where the bands play and where, the, where you sit down to eat, there's like photos all over of the day of him, his the vehicle, crew, everything else. So if you want to see something historical, go down there uh, and check out the pub, have a beer, check out all the photos. It's pretty pretty bloody awesome. So just for some stats, quick stats. So, here we go. Um, I thought it was pretty good. This just, you know, pretty interesting considering, um, you know, you're in the middle of the southwest of um, WA uh, in Double Young between Wagen and Cookeran. And Cookeran, in a couple of weeks' time, is the Cookeran Creek Bed and Burnout competition. That's pretty good. I went there a few times. Um, that's alright if you want to do. Uh, come in and watch some creek bed racing in the big four befores but um yeah so middle of nowhere but yeah so good just to um come out and um have a gander around i mean it is a popular popular spot people like well, i only got um other things there for the kids to look at and whatnot so and there's other stuff there your general store up there and whatnot uh, and toilets so yeah, it's it's interesting. I you know, never knew the history really. I've just gone past it. Never never actually delved into why that is here. Um, and you know, now that I know, it's because of um, yeah, Donald Campbell set the uh, land water speed record, world water speed record here in Double Young back in 1964. So not bad. Anyway, we should be right for the rest of the trip. Um, I drank a bit last night, I'm not real seedy, but it's more of I didn't sleep well. I don't like camping it without my own stuff, so. But uh, we're all done, swags are in, so hopefully there shouldn't be anything else to report on the way back unless something breaks, which hopefully doesn't. It took us half a tank to get down here, so all good. Anyway, that's enough. I'm, yeah, nice two hour, three hour drive now, so we'll see how that goes. Anyway, so. Hey, that's it for me. Um, signing off from Dumble Young. Uru! Ho, ho, ho.